Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm hoping that today you can tell a difference in this video. I'm going to tell you why in just a second, but let's go ahead and play our intro. Please let me know down below. I finally invested and I got a new camera. Being a big girl, being a serious YouTuber, I got a camera. But I need to know if y'all can tell a difference and if you know something about cameras, let me know if something needs to be tweaked with the lighting, exposure. I don't know what all those words mean, so you let me know what those words mean. So yeah, that is my exciting news for today. We got a new camera, we got a microphone. I'm so excited, guys. So time to get serious. It is Full Face Friday. You looked at the description, you know what brand we're doing. Today is Wet n Wild Day. Now, before I do this, let me go ahead and tell y'all, uh, it's not time. We ain't getting a wear test today. Sorry guys, it is literally Thursday night. You're looking at this early Friday afternoon. Life's been a little hectic and I didn't want to record for y'all until I had the new camera because I want y'all to have the best quality as soon as possible. And so here we are. But we are gonna test out a whole bunch of wet and wild makeup. Almost everybody knows Wet n Wild's a pretty good brand. They're a little bit hit or miss, but we're gonna try some stuff, a little new stuff, some holy grail stuff from other influencers, and we're just gonna get right into it. But first, who has tried these snow cone like slushes? I got the Bahama Mama, so good. Anyways, not sponsored, but I'm excited. First thing we're gonna go in with is this Wet n Wild Matte Primer. And it looks like Smashbox to me. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh my God. Okay, so the packaging did, but that's so deceiving. This primer is actually white. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's actually white. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try it. The name sounds, oh, I can see that it's white now. Sounds like the Smashbox. But it doesn't look like it, so maybe it's different, who knows. I guess we're going to find out. Feels nice, a little bit tacky, kind of thin. Might not be a bad thing though, who knows. So next we are going to take the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I got this in the shade Light Ivory because I'm pale. I did swatch and test this just to see if it was the right shade and it's exactly my skin tone. So we're going to see how it translates on camera. It comes with this crappy little applicator. We're not using that. You pop it open. Here's your cushion. I'm going to take a uh, Eco Tools sponge or maybe it's Real Tech. I think it's Real Techniques. I don't know. I'm going to take that and just dip it in here and put the foundation on that way. And we are just going to speed through this because it's boring and it sucks. <laughs> So that looked fast, but that took forever. Okay, I'm not a fan of cushion foundations. This is the first one I've ever used, but I can tell you why. I feel like that would be impossible to do with a brush and get it on correctly. And dear God, my arm is sore now. But let's go ahead and we are gonna zoom in and just take a quick look. It's got a pretty decent finish. This is only one layer. I don't have it in me or my arm to do two. But it's got a pretty decent finish. Covers relatively well. You can see like right here, I have a monster. And it kind of covered it, but not completely. We 
are going to seriously hope that concealer can handle the rest of the job. So we have got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Again, um, the lightest shade. So this is in the color Light Ivory 2 as well. <clears throat> and we are just going to put some under here. And it looks like not a lot comes out. Uh, the foundation is moving around a little. Definitely not light enough. But they don't make a lighter shade because their shade selection kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest about that. I'm going to cover up my monster, see if it actually covers. And highlight the face a little bit, just straight down the nose. And on the forehead. I don't think I have any other breakouts going on. I'm going to put some around the nose just a little bit because that foundation did not get up in the little spots beside my nose. So we're going to go ahead and blend this in. Again, sped up. Blending is boring. <laughs> it really hurts. Know that I love y'all because I hate using a blending sponge yet. So the concealer is blended in almost. It's not bad, but it's definitely not going to be my new holy grail. I mean, spots are covered. I don't really know what else I expect, but it just doesn't look that great to me. Um, to set, I'm going to go ahead and take this Mega Contour Palette. A lot of influencers swear by this and use the more banana powder side. To set, I'm going to use the flat end of my Beauty Blender to pick up some of this and just lay it right there. I guess I could almost let it kind of bake so that hopefully it doesn't crease up on me. Oh, I think I might have accidentally got some contour out. <laughs> wow. Then we're going to set all the spots that we put concealer. Of course, of course. Okay, and then while this is marinating, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and the bronzer side of this compact and bronze up, contour the face a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe this banana powder off, which this may not have been the best idea. It's leaving quite a bit of a yellow cast all over my face. And yeah, that looks pretty terrible. Okay, so now that our base looks ridiculous because I also couldn't get that bronzer to blend like at all, probably on me for being in a hurry, like always, but I'm trying. We're going to go ahead and do some eyebrows. We've got the retractable brow pencil. If I can get it open, it is one of these thicker tipped brow pencils looks like this I got it in dark brown I think it should be fine it's just a brow pencil oh it's an ash brown close enough we're just gonna go ahead and do this again fast forwarding through brows are not fun either So brows are on. I'm not a fan of that style of pencil for what it is. It worked fine. For me, it's just really hard to get a exact line with that style of pencil. It never comes out as good. 
but it worked okay. Uh, now we're going to try this Wet n Wild Mega Blast retractable eyeliner. It's got the eyeliner down here, smudger on this end, and we're just going to put this in the waterline, see if it's any good. I'm always down for a new waterline pencil. And um, let me see. It's not bad. It definitely shows up. Not the best I've ever used, but definitely better than a lot of the ones that I have actually paid a lot more for. This little thing is going to go in my special cup over here. So that's pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead, just because this is fast, I'm going to put on my Precious Petals highlighter. Y'all already know how I feel about that. I used to rave about this a lot. It's a gorgeous color. It works well for me on my fair skin. Super blinding. Is that hitting on camera? Because it's hitting in my mirror. And it's gorgeous. I love it. So we're just going to put this on our high points. Go ahead and highlight right there, even though we got that horrible pimple. And up here, of course. And now I'm glowing a little bit. So I love that. Y'all know that I love that. It's one of the best highlighters I've ever owned. But for the fun part, we are going to dive into this Nude Awakening palette. These styles of palettes are relatively new-ish. Wet n Wild used to have them in a different kind of formation, but now they look like this. <sighs> they open on the side. Oh, I thought I got this all the way open and I missed a part, y'all. I pre-opened all of this stuff just so I wouldn't be opening it like right in the microphone because I imagined that wouldn't be a good experience for y'all. Okay. That should be close enough. Yeah. Okay, so this has got a kind of, I can't even tell. It's like a combination of warm and cool to me. It's got like your blues, reds, transitions down here, some shimmers, all that nice stuff. But we are just going to start out with a big fluffy brush, this shade right here, and fluff it all over the lid. This will help set all the cream product that has been on here already, just to get ready for a look. I don't know what look, but a look. Now we are going to zoom in. And scoot this camera up a little bit. So we're going to zoom in and do the eyes so y'all can see hopefully in gorgeous detail what we're doing. I hope this looks better guys. I really do. Okay. So next we are going to go into this one right here. And we're just going to take this on the same fluffy brush and put it all in the crease. It says transition on the shadow. So, I mean, it has to be a transition shade, right? Uh, so far, it is not horrible, but it is skipping. It's a little bit patchy. It's blending okay, but it is a little bit patchy. Nothing too horrible, though. We can live with this. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe that transition shade was a little dark for me, but that's okay. Uh, then we are going to take this burgundy right here and we are going to put that in the crease. Same brush. Try to be a little more careful with it. And just put it right through here to give me a little bit of color but nothing too crazy. We don't want to make this super burgundy because I'm about to do something in a second that I hope will look pretty cute. So right there, that just gave me a tiny bit of a burgundy purplish reddish tint. 
to this look. Nothing insane. Just enough that it's there. So that is good. Then on a more precise brush, we are going to take this dark, almost denim blue right here. And we are going to stamp this into the corner like so. If we can get it to stamp how I want it. And in a second, we are going to blend this through. Okay, so I don't know if that's exactly what I was going for, but I'll take it. Then on this brush, just to test our shimmer, we're going to take this one right here. It's a very light champagne-y shade. And toss this into the inner corner. That's cute. There's nothing crazy impressive, but it's not bad. <clears throat> so for a fun product that I've been curious about, I'm going to take one of these little Wet n Wild glitter singles. This one is in silver. An attempt to apply it to the eye. I don't know if this is like a glitter glitter or ooh, it feels like a glitter glitter. But it also has that kind of Vaseline-y feel underneath it. And I'm just pressing this onto the eyelid. I really have no clue what kind of look we're going for here, but this seemed like something fun to do in the middle of the night when I'm going nowhere. But this actually stays really good. It's almost like it's got some glue mixed into it. I'm not experiencing like any fallout from this at all, which is pretty impressive. So I'm just pressing it in to almost a cut crease kind of vibe. Not quite, but kind of, sort of. And making sure it's pretty close to opaque. It worked really well on this eye. Struggling a little on the other. I think the farther down you get in, the less actual glitter you're picking up. But it's still really pretty. I'm feeling it. I did experience more fallout with that second one because I think it was more like Vaseline type stuff towards the bottom. Not entirely sure, but I think that's what that can be attributed to. <clears throat> All right, now we are just gonna go ahead and on this lower lash line, I'm gonna take that burgundy I had earlier on a flat brush and just sweep that across here. Just to tie that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the brush I blended with earlier with a little bit of this lighter transition shade and just blend that burgundy out some. I do want this to be pretty smoky so that it matches all that gorgeous glitter we've got going now, which is pretty stinking cute. I'm probably gonna have it in my eyes later, but it's cute. <laughs> so we are gonna take now, I'm not doing falsies because I didn't see, did I see? I don't think I saw what in all falsies. So I'm taking this Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. Like everything else, this was super affordable. It's probably got one of the weirdest wands I've ever seen. That's a little intimidating. Not gonna lie. But I'm just gonna put this on. And... Uh, it separates pretty well. Decent volume, but not too terribly impressed. I 
but that's not bad. I don't know how well y'all can see it. It looks all right in person. It's not super impressive, but I mean, it's all right. Okay, not too bad. I can definitely live with this. So we've got two more products to go. We don't have a setting spray, don't really need one because we're just gonna take this off pretty quickly anyways. So the next thing we have got is actually a gel lip liner and this I had never seen. It says it's their first one. I got a nudish pink color just to try out. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that real quick and real fast. Okay, so that lip liner is on and definitely glad it on. Super easy. And then I have got a liquid cat suit everybody loves it i've never really worn one all day i don't know if i do like them that's why we're gonna do a wear test soon because uh i really don't know if i like this but we've got this liquid cat soup and coral corruption super pretty color looked basically perfect for the lip liner so that is what we're gonna try today and see how we feel so let's apply that pretty fast too Okay, <clears throat> so this is our full face of Wet n Wild. Final thoughts. Okay, let me stay zoomed in for this. Things I know I didn't like. This glitter, you see where it's coming off all through here? If you don't get it right on the first will hit every time you try to put more on it just takes more off and now i have glitter on my face so i don't think i like this if you just need one little hit of glitter maybe like you just want a halo straight in the middle you only need to touch once that might be okay but this ain't working for me so uh that glitter is going to be a hard pretty hard pass okay so we're going to zoom out while I talk to y'all. Okay, first off, let me take down this nappy hair because it bugs me when I always have it up because you guys, I swear, I have hair. And I'm going to do a hair video soon, so be excited because I got a lot of hair. <laughs> but, okay, so for these products in order, the primer, I can't really tell you how I feel. It felt pretty good. I think it works well. Obviously, I'm not going to know because I'm not wearing it all day, but I'll test it out soon. If anyone wants to know, ask me in the comments. I'll let you know. Uh, the foundation. This, I will say, I've used, I used it once, okay? So, it's not bad. Like, right now, it is so hot where I live. Literally, like, you put foundation on, you go outside for three minutes, and it's all the way melted off. This is so light that if you wear it by itself, it gives you like a sheer-ish coverage, but it doesn't melt off so bad, and if it does, it's not as obvious when you lose it in certain spots. So for the summertime, it's also got SPF in it. This is a product that I really do enjoy. It's good. I like it. Now, if you want a full coverage glam, you're going out. Maybe not. But if you just need something, you're on the go, you need a quick foundation, something to just put on and not have to worry about it, this is pretty perfect. And oh my god, y'all, I was too serious. I have glitter on my contact. Okay. Then we've got our concealer. I'm not a huge fan. It did cover. It blended okay. It shifted the foundation. Ignore the screaming cat, y'all. He's fine. <laughs> okay. Kitty's coming in. Hope he doesn't kill anything. Okay, so if y'all see any random tails in my video, it's my cat. Okay, so we've got the concealer, which is okay. I don't think I'll be using it a whole lot, but it is an affordable option. Definitely worked. I want to try blending it out with like a brush instead of a sponge. I think I might like it better. 
we've got our eyebrow pencil. I never, ever, ever recommend these kinds of pencils. I just find that the fine tip pencils work like a thousand times better. Personal preference, some people like these. Not my thing, I don't recommend them, but I didn't see a fine tip pencil there. Um, Y'all know I like the eyeliner. We know I love the highlighter. Um, shockingly, I'm going to try this again. Maybe I did it wrong. I'm not a fan of this little contour thing. I don't feel like the contour blended very well. It has an orange look on me. And the banana powder left way too much of a yellow cast on my face. I'm just not a fan. Plain and simple. I do really like the eyeshadow. I think this is really cute. These are only like five bucks, maybe seven. I don't know. But it's really cute, pretty pigmented, blended okay. Definitely good for the price. I approve. Uh, the mascara. I mean, it's mascara. Separated good, stayed pretty well. It did clump a little when it started drying, which is weird. But it's not terrible. Also, it's super affordable. The lip liner. Love, love, love. I will be using this anytime I wear a pinky coral shade. The lippy itself is not transferring. So that's step number one. We will get a wear test of this brand later on and we'll see how we feel. So we've reached the end. This is my full face of Wet n Wild makeup. Wet n Wild is one of my favorite brands just because there's a few products I don't like. Doesn't mean you won't like them. Doesn't mean I don't like the company. I love their highlighters. I live for their liquid foundation. I use it all the time. They have some pretty good brushes. I mean, they have all kinds of really good affordable options. I think Wet n Wild is a wonderful brand. Uh, definitely worth a try. You can find them at Walmart. Super easy to get. They also have it at Ulta. If, you know, you live somewhere that Ulta is just your thing or if you want to get points for it or whatever. But yeah. So this is your Full Face Friday. We will have a tutorial, new schedule, tutorials Monday, wear a test Wednesday, Full Face Friday. Now Monday may not always be a tutorial, sometimes it may be a subscription box. It's gonna depend on what I have that week. And Full Face Friday will not last forever, guys. There's only so many brands and your girls only got so much money. So Full Face Friday will not last forever. But hopefully it will last for a while. I have several more brands to go. So that is it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I will see you on Monday. Bye, you guys.